So today we want to do a review of Crunch Lab. This isn't a sponsored video or anything and I don't have any affiliate links. We just had such a great experience with this program that we wanted to talk a little bit about it and show it to you. It, the, the first season I think is over so I don't think there's any spoiler alerts or anything here because I don't think these are even available anymore. So we just wanted to show you some of the things that the kids put together and get their take on it. So every time you finish something you get a cog on the Crunch Labs wheel for year one. So they've done them all, and then you get this little thing at the end. And you, you see, we, we didn't put all of them here on the table, just some of our favorites. So you turn this on, tell me about it. I really like that it like, makes the ball float. She has been the beneficiary of the finished products, but we actually got it for the two boys as a product that they could do over the summer together. So they put it together, they watched the videos together, put it together, and learned science together. So let me just ask, what did you like most about this experience? What I really liked is Mark Rover made it a video for each one, and he didn't just say how to make it, he went into depth on the science of how everything worked in each and every one. So I learned stuff that like, even I didn't know, just basic things on like how things turn and just how gravity affects stuff. And it was really cool to just learn every little detail about how ordinary things work. Okay, now we got this specifically so you two could work together. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this was a bonding thing or was it something that you could have done just as well by yourself? What was the experience of doing it with someone else? You could have done it by yourself, but it's funner if you do it with somebody else. Why? So, um, mainly just because there's there's some toys where there's multiple of the same item, so you can both build one, and then you can like battle it out like with some things. In the second Crunch Labs, we got like a dual thing, and and there's like an arena, and you would battle each other out. You would spin coin. You would spin coins. And it was like a Beyblade battle, but with um, some cr Crunch Lab coins. So we we wanted you to kind of mentor him in it. And do you feel like you were able to take on that teacher role at all? Or was it so self-explanatory that truly you just could do it by yourself? Yeah, Mark Rover did a really good job at explaining it. Like, there were some things that I helped with. But for the most part, he got it all down pretty well. Yeah. You guys are brilliant. All right, show me what were your favorite ones you put together? My favorite one was actually the very first one. I thought it was a genius idea to have this just spinning really fast and to have the rubber band, which gripped a lot. So when you turn it on, it would spin a really fast, easy to stop, but it for the Frisbees, this is not the case. Right, so you learned a little bit about inertia, a little bit about lift, but then this was one of the ones that you've continued to play with, right? So this yeah. has been fun after completing it because you can actually play with it. A lot of these, you did it and it was fun for a day or two, but then the value was in putting it together and learning, right? Mm -hmm. um, are there any that stood out to you as that were particularly fun to put together or, or to work uh, on? I really liked the duck one. It's a duck game, you are pretty loud. But the duck goes along, and you can like knock them over, and it does points like for either way you knock it over. And they give us these little things so you go, and then you battle from both sides with them. All right, and then here we have the this was the last one, right? You step on it, it shoots yeah. the little rockets. So a rocket launcher that they put together. Here we have an airplane crossbow, thing. crossbow thingy and thing. And for us, it looked like a buff. This one is a fan that you put the thing on and it keeps the ball in the air. So not everything was perfect about it. Uh, tell me some of the frustrations that you had in this first season. So everything that had a battery, you would have a battery switch that was put behind the piece of wood. And it was just really hard to get it on and then with the decks really hard to get off. But it was like that for for this one too. Um, for for this one, 
they it's just really small yeah it was really small and really deep in there so it's hard to get your finger in there to turn it on and off oh yeah they're so excited they thought at the end they'd get an actual autograph it looks like it's just wood burned copy of his signature but they were hoping for an actual like signature because yeah. Big super fans of Mark Rover. So that was a little disappointing, but it is a cool little way of keeping track of what you've done. We actually have a lot of these up on display throughout the house, and then they have some in their rooms as well. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. Just really fun overall. Do you guys have any final words? Um, look out. <laughs> it, it, it was a lot of fun, and we will we'll renew our subscription for sure. Just to have something to do over the summer, especially where they could work together and it was almost like summer school, except really, really fun. But then they've continued. And again, I this was such a cool experience because it's something that he would go check the mail every day. Hasn't come yet. And then when it had come, he had to wait till brother got home so they could do it together. And for me, that was really cool just to see the kids working on things together and be super excited to learn and to be able to build. Um, and so this is like the evolution of Legos. Um, they're doing really creative things and having a lot of fun with it. Really highly recommend, if you can get the subscription, you should do it. Um, great experience.